Okay, I just wanted to show today how you would make a cylinder. I'll put a little video to show what it looks like. And it's pretty tough and it could be used for quite a few different things. And, you know, it's just a wanted to show a way of making it and doing the living hinge and stuff. So if you hold shift and drag out the circle as big as you want it to start with. So I'm just going to go four inch by four inch just for this. And then with this circle, go to the offset tool and offset it inwards. I'm going to offset mine a quarter inch inwards and say OK. So this circle three and a half by three and a half. Now I want to put in a tab. So I'm just going to drag out a tab here and change it to my tab sizes, which is four millimeters by eight millimeters. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select both of these and just make sure that this is aligned with the center. I'm going to zoom right in here and just make sure that these two <coughs> are touching this line. And while I'm doing this as well, I'm going to quickly measure one quarter of this circle, 68 point sixty eight times four equals so this two hundred and seventy four seventy two I'm gonna copy that by pressing control and C I'm gonna quickly drag out a square here and then paste that up the top here so width the height can be however deep you want your box to be I'll just do this two inches Okay, so to get these tabs in the right place now, if you click on this one and click on the outer circle, you've got to do it in that order. Click on the circle array tool, and now you can choose like how many tabs you want. So I'm going to stick with, I'm going to make it eight. I'll go eight tabs there. So now we've got our tabs on here, and we know the size of this circle. Um, I'm just going to quickly duplicate one of these, just put it here for a second. <coughs> and now, how I did it was, make sure this circle's a path, zoom right in and press I to insert a node on the corner of that box, and zoom into here and press I to insert a node on the corner of that box, because all these spacings are the same. And then with your ruler tool, you can measure this and it'll only measure to them two points you just made. And you can see it's 1.0594. 1.0594. So let me quickly select this one. Go to the array tool. 1.0594. That's my spacing, and now I'm going to do nine because the top one I've got to make half and half. So let me just say okay. Select all these. Center it up on there. And holding shift once you've got it centered. Just bring it down, match it exactly on this line. And these end ones, to these end ones, I'm just going to do two four millimeter squares. And have to do the same on the other end, make that four millimeters. Alright, so once you've got all them, if they're right on this line, you should be able to select both of them and just weld it together. That's it. Once they're lined up on there, you just click weld at the top and it'll weld them. You can delete this circle now because this is all, you know, this will fit into that. <coughs> and these two halves will fit into the last one, you know, whichever one you choose. And then if you want a top on it as well, you can just... Control and D duplicate this 
flip it, zoom right in again, holding shift, lift it up until it matches exactly on that line, press world again, uh, select the other, <coughs> make sure you got both of them selected, and so once you've got both of them selected and this line lining up and it's mirrored, you should be able to just weld it. Now that will give you both sides and then all you need is to duplicate this, so you've got a top and a bottom. Oh, and then do the living hinge. So I have shown before, but I'll just quickly show how you can do that. Um, starting from the start here, you make a box and you want this box to be 1.5 or oh, well, we'll do some tests but 1.5 millimeters wide and then as tall as the I'll just drag this up as tall as the overall shape so I go there to there drag this back a little bit so it starts there <coughs> Uh, convert this to a path so just right click convert to path and there is a path you can press D to delete these two ends because you don't need these ends up here press M the letter M while you're hovering over it three times and then five times on this one you can delete these two ends that will leave you these three in the center and then delete the center out of this one and that will leave you oh let me go back if I put one more M here for the middle and then I'll delete that and delete that so yep yeah. and now all you got to do is use the array tool to array this along there so let me zoom out a little bit I'll make this a hundred. The spacing wants to be one point five millimeters. <coughs> uh, and then just as many as you need. I'll go to there, say okay. And that is basically it there. Now that would be a living hinge. And yeah, it run around in these like I say, the last hull, the two fit in there, as you could see in mine. So, yeah, don't want to make it too long, but yes, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe, and I'll put out another video as soon as possible. Thank you.